What's going on, y'all? I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We went and had fish with Dad. Here's a picture. Yeah, boy, we had whole fish, fillet fish, we had shrimp, hush puppies. That's what we did for Thanksgiving this year. We ain't had, you know, a whole lot of Thanksgivings over there. And then after that, uh, we, uh, Saturday, you know, Friday, I delivered in Baton Rouge to Associated Groceries at 2.45 a.m. It went actually pretty good for a grocery. I didn't have to pay a lumper, and they didn't keep me over four hours. So, hey, for a grocery, it went pretty well. Then we, on Saturday, me and Old Timer, we worked on DD. We got a brake chamber put on. We got three air leaks fixed. Plus, we got the old Schneider tractor working. I'm going to put a little video of that up later on. This is just to kind of catch y'all up about how our Thanksgiving week went. It was pretty good. And then on Sunday, our preacher preached about repentance. Yes, he did. It was a pretty good sermon. Um, went from Matthew 3, 1 through 10. And then jumped over to John, 1 John seven through nine one chapter one seven through nine and it was a really good service all right and uh then after that we came home and the wife cooked my beautiful loving wonderful wife cooked us a turkey and then she made us an awesome sweet tater casserole thing that she found and uh, i normally don't eat a lot of sweet taters but y'all i enjoyed it me and her and Tuck, all three enjoyed it. Now, Tucker, he didn't like the texture so much, so he wasn't able to hang in there as much. But me and the wife, we really did. It was some good eating. So, uh, Monday morning, I went over to Natchez, and I picked me up a load of coat hangers. BASF has a warehouse over in Natchez, Mississippi. It has a little bit of everything in there. They had some fish meal that they were loading on hopper bottoms using a front end loader out of the warehouse with regular docks on it. It was weird. It was something I ain't seen them do like that before. And they had barrels and all kinds of different things in there that they sent out. But I got a load of coat hangers, about 18,000 pounds. And I got that, brought it home for last night. And today is Tuesday. I'm sitting over here at a rest area headed down toward Tampa, Florida. And uh, I'm hoping to deliver it sometime tomorrow at a clothing manufacturer. And if everything goes right, that's going to be a good deal. And then I'm picking up a load of drinks to take back to Robert, Louisiana. Now the load came over here paying just over $2 a mile, not a whole lot. The load going back pays just over a dollar a mile, which is not good, but it got me moving and I'm still proving out the truck. So far, the truck seems to be doing okay. It's idling smooth, it's running smooth, it's still strong. I don't think it's burning all the diesel, but you know, as long as she'll run, I'm gonna run her. I gotta pay bills. Speaking of which, I did talk to some of the bill collectors and they are willing to work out some half payments and some you know payment plans and that type of thing i'm hoping that i can buy ourselves enough leeway to build up some money to go forward with because right now everything's maxed out and the accounts are low because i had so much time off because of the repairs and everything and uh so Right now, we're trying to make adjustments, things, phone calls that I did not want to make. Look, when when you're in business and you try to do everything right, sometimes it's going to happen. And if you call them and talk to them, there's things that they can do to try to ease some of the pressure off. I did not want to have to go that route. I did not want to have to do that at all. But... That's step number one, to call them, see if they can relieve some of the pressure. Then I'm going to see if I can build up some of the fundage I need to maybe do a permanent repair on the truck or pay off some bills or something where I can move forward. 
Anyway, that's all for today. God bless. And I will catch y'all on the next ride.